Hey guys, Heather here from Tie Dyed Iguana, and one of our subscribers requested a care video on green tree frogs. So today's video is going to be all about how to take care of them. So green tree frogs are found throughout Central America and also in the southeastern United States. They only get about one half to two inches long, so they don't get too big. And they're also not the longest living species. They only live about two and a half to five years for their average lifespan. So as for their tank size, uh, one frog needs a minimum tank size of 10 gallons. Uh, this should be good for their whole life. If you do want to get more green tree frogs and keep multiple green tree frogs together, uh, you might want to invest in a bigger tank. And you can see here that we've got a taller tank. Since these guys are arboreal, you might want to invest in getting a more vertical tank instead of the horizontal one. And if you want to house multiple frogs together, just make sure that they're a similar size or else you might get like big adults trying to eat the smaller ones. So just make sure that they're a similar size and make sure they have lots of places to hide. So because of humidity requirements, we recommend that you use an absorbent substrate. In our green tree frog tank here, we use a mixture of uh, jungle mix, what we call jungle mix and a repti bark. But you can use stuff like peat moss, coconut fiber, reptile bark, or sphagnum moss for these guys. So as far as temperature goes for these guys, it's pretty easy. They stay between 70 to 82 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. So you can keep them at room temperature. Uh, just make sure that if you have live plants in the tank that you should probably use a UVB bulb to make sure that the plants do really good. You can use a low powered UVB and it also helps display the animal, uh, makes it easier to see them. And it looks kind of nice too. So as far as decorations for these guys, you, as you can see in our tank here, we have uh, lots of different branches for them to climb on. Since they're arboreal, they love to climb, so you want to provide them lots of space to climb and all that good stuff. Um, you can also plant some live plants in here, or you can have fake plants too, just to give them a place to hide. In our tank, we grow pothos, and it's a really cool, uh, pet-friendly plant that you can uh, grow in your tanks. Um, they love sitting on the leaves, they love hiding in them. Uh, you can also plant some bromeliads in there. They also like to hide in those. They also make sure that you have a water dish in there for them. Uh, it doesn't have need to be too big, it's just something that they can sit in if they want to. Just make sure that uh, the most important thing about that is make sure you use dechlorinated tap water. Uh, you, it, like if you use straight tap water, it can kill them because they absorb all the chemicals through their skin and the chlorine will kill them. So just make sure that you dechlorinate your water before you give it to them. Now as far as food goes, these guys are insectivores. So you can feed them all sorts of stuff. You can feed them what we feed ours here. We feed them small crickets. But you can also supplement their diet with like small mealworms, small wax worms. I wouldn't recommend the mealworms too much just because of their, uh, the, the outer shell is pretty uh, tough for them to digest. So I would stick to the softer worms like wax worms and even small earthworms. Now we feed ours about three times a week or about every other day. Uh, just make sure that when you do feed them, make sure you calcium dust the crickets. But one of the days, uh, instead of using calcium, use vitamins. That way they get their vitamins at least once a week and that you don't overdo it. Just give them once a week. More than that, it can hurt them actually. So just do it once and that'll be good. So for handling, um, we don't recommend that you handle these guys very much at all. Uh, the oils on your skin and the other chemicals on your skin can actually be absorbed through their skin. So that can harm them if you've got something harmful on you. Uh, we recommend that if you do handle them, maybe either use gloves or a wet paper towel maybe. Uh, just keep a layer in between your skin and their skin. Plus these guys are pretty hoppy and pretty spastic, so they wouldn't sit still in your hand long enough for you to really hold them. So if you need to like health check, check them for health or if there's something wrong and that you do need to handle them or you need to move them out for cleaning, just make sure that you use gloves or like a paper towel to handle them. Yeah, so overall these guys, they make great pets. They're pretty good for people uh, starting out on keeping amphibians. Uh, they're pretty, they're one of the most easy, care, easy to care for amphibians that we've got here. They don't require much in the way of lighting and their care is pretty simple. 
So if you're looking for something, a good starter pet, a green tree frog would be perfect for you.